Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 10, Tom Riddle's Diary Free Play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. You can see on the right hand side, we get all of the collectibles minus the one gold brick that we got for completing the story mode. And uh, we are going to go for that true wizard, which is pretty easy with the two times multiplier. And let it be known that a dark arts or dark magic wizard, as well as grip hook, uh, should be acquired and in your inventory uh, for characters before even advancing. So, uh, hey, real quick little note here, too, as we start off and we start moving for the first house crest, the yellow one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head to the back over here and hop on this plunger and roll around until we get all six of these little puddles scooped up. Now, uh, what I was saying though is it's important to note that we do have quick links for all of the collectibles down in the video description. So there are a couple of moments in this video that actually are rather boring and do not have any collectibles uh, on screen for quite some time. So you might find yourself using those quick links to rustle through this video a little faster. But if you're here to just hang out and say hey and watch and, and see how this is all done, uh, no worries, uh, no quick links needed for that. So, all right, back in that little nook over there, you want to make sure you get back there. There is a, a bluesy and some others back there. But uh, right around the corner from where we started, uh, there is a dark magic. Well, I guess it's more of a cabinet that you want to use. And uh, go ahead and use that and get the first character token. But uh, other than that, this area is complete. We are going to go ahead and take out everything that might reveal some studs because we weren't sure how easy this true wizard was going to be. But with the two times multiplier, it's pretty simple, uh, especially if you follow along and you get all the studs that we get. Now, that being said, uh, we're going to milk all the studs possible here. Once we get them all, then we're going to go ahead and go to the task at hand, which is taking out Moaning Myrtle. So uh, we do experience a little bit of, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a user error or a gameplay error, but at one point she pops up. We're not able to attack her, so it's kind of a waste of time. But I did speed this up a little bit more than usual. And like I said, if you are in a hurry or simply here for the collectibles, go ahead and look down in the video description below. And the next one's going to be the student in peril. Uh, and, and hey, if you need the house crest or whatever else you need, go ahead and click those links and get to getting. But uh, otherwise, we're just going to keep on using Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and return the items that are not silver and extra heavy and uh, bust open each of these bathroom stall doors. Now, every once in a while we miss one, and every once in a while there is a silver item that we are not able to target and send back, but uh, we dodge those and wait for the next one to come out. There we go. All of the doors are open. I'm not sure what's going on with these toilets, but somebody get a plumber up in this piece. <laughs> and uh, good thing we don't have any cherry bombs or anything to put down there, right? Kids, don't try that at home. Your parents will, will not appreciate cherry bombs in the toilets, uh, nor will your local school or movie theaters, or et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I should not have even mentioned it. Anyhow, uh, we're going to continue this process of uh, wait for the item and then return the item by slamming it. And uh, is this the one where we miss out? Nope, we get her there. And bye, you guys. All right, once you get all of our hearts removed, it actually advances you into this next area. And it is important to note that there is an item in that bookshelf there that we took out. But we're not going to grab it quite yet. We just wanted to point that out to you early. Um, it is important to get all three of those. I don't know what they are. They're some sort of a, I don't know, a, like a pump, an air pump or something that you land on. But stand on all of those, and all three of them will resort in uh, put, providing the pathway up top. If you build and use that one up top that you saw, you will actually set them in stone and you won't have to hit those three on the bottom anymore. So we're good as long as you build and jumped on the pump upstairs. So uh, here we are down below. There is a mandrake there, so we got to go ahead and address that him by putting on some earmuffs. You'll find the earmuffs in the middle. Use your tentacle remover, Luma Solum, and build it up and grab that mandrake. You do want to go ahead and bust the glass case next to the little pot before putting them in there, but uh, it'll always be available for you. Now, there is a strong man require, requirement here, but uh, he was a part of this original level, so he should be part of your characters. And uh, if you've been following along, you probably purchased him on the last level anyway, so... This is another one of those moments where you need to build some stuff in order to advance, but 
Perfection is not a must here. Simply build it so that you can get by. Now, I kind of messed up with that left arch piece there kind of hanging out there, and I, it does eventually fall when I try to stand on it. I think it does. But uh, just make sure you can get up to that middle one and get over it. You can see here I'm building it right in the middle, but I'm kind of offsetting it just a little bit so I have a little bit of a ladder to get up, and I'm closer to that further ledge. But, uh, all right, student in peril. On the far right side of this new area, we're going to find a bookcase. Go ahead and use... I guess there are more than more book characters than just Hermione, I think, I've, so I've been told. But uh, if not, you should have access to Hermione. And go ahead and solve the puzzle. Grab the key, take it all the way across the room, and solve the puzzle by putting the key in and turning it. Look at that. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, well, I guess we weren't following him. Or maybe he was leading us to some studage. Either way, he's on his way. All right, next is the house crest, too. It's red, and you can find it by destroying six of these golden kind of knight statues around the room. There are three of them on the lower level. Two are kind of on the front side of the screen, while the first one is on the far left. Um, and the rest are going to be up top. So we're going to head back up the stairs, and uh, up the daisy we go. This time we're going to jump back and go to the left, though, instead of advancing over to the right. And you'll find the fourth one over there, as well as a few studs and an item for the old cauldron down below. But we'll get back to that in a few minutes. And as we make our way, oh no, I fell down. But as you see, I made myself a little staircase there to jump on. Make sure you get the statue in the middle there before advancing. I almost ran right by him. And the final one is over on the far side. So as you can see, I kind of double made it there because I got the true wizard status at the same time that I picked up that. Uh, house crest so oh to the yeah and we switched to Hagrid and pulled the old strongman chain which made that hog run off and actually provided us access into the next area so we're gonna go ahead and slide on into there and as soon as we get in here we notice right off the bat that there is a safe in the back of the room go ahead and switch to grip hook and turn that key and booyah out comes a character token happens to be the vocalist so I don't know if he's uh, going to be on The Vocalist. Isn't that a show? Uh, maybe it's not. No, it's The Voice, isn't it? All right. My bad. My bad. Uh, I gave up watching that stuff a long time ago. All right. In the front left corner, as you make your way down the hallway, there is a treasure chest with a silver lock on it. Use Reducto, bust it open, and grab that house crest before advancing over to these weird stairwells. So there are a couple of different staircases here, and they do need to be manipulated in a few ways in order to advance. But when you would, when you uh, manipulate the first one, there is the first of three radios in the back that you need to target. So go ahead and smack that one, and it'll start singing the Harry Potter theme and a kind of a, a house music music a little <laughs> version of it and uh then as we just keep on keeping on you can see we talked to the wizard in the window there or in the frame there and uh we also found another radio a little past him so go ahead and give that a smackaroo this is a little bit tricky you might remember this from story mode basically you have to get your secondary character over to the little spinny wing and uh, spin it around with Wingardium Leviosa. Then switch to the character that made it over there and go ahead and do the same for your other character. So it's kind of a kind of a little bit of a trickery there, but uh, you'll figure it out. It's not rocket science. It's just wizardry. All right, and we are making our way. You do have to target those paintings or banners on the wall there, and it does knock off the wizard and gives us a few items to build up to a little bouncy boingy boingy. Uh, but before moving to the boinger, go ahead and make your way down the path and get the bluesy and a few other studs. And here, oh, there's a poiple. Make sure you get up top and get that poiple. And uh, switch on over to Luma Solemn. Nope, we don't need you, Crookshanks. No kitty cat needed for this. We're going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa on the two pieces and build those. I guess there's another set of boingers. It's kind of a weird set. Okay, important fact here. Make sure that you get the radio and you use your key before using Wingardium Leviosa on those pillars to the left there. Those white pillars will actually advance you in, in, in the level for you. And you have to do this all over again. So hit the third radio to get the house crest. Use your key to get the final character token. Then use Wingardium Leviosa to take us away. Calgon, take us away. I guess it's Hagrid. Hagrid, take us away. Some old school there for you. Oh, to the yeah. That's going to do it. We got all three character tokens. One, two, and three. Professor Vector. Uh, we also got a couple of house crests. Four, to be precise. Completing that level. And also, we got some studage. And it did amount to well over the amount. In fact, we had the two times. And we got two times the amount we needed for that. So... 
worked out. Uh, plenty of studs available. You don't even have to milk the level for them. And uh, turn that frown upside down because we got that student in peril saved. And we get a few gold bricks for doing all of the tasks at hand. So, oh, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter years. One through four, level 10, Tom Riddle's diary free play. Let me just note real quick, too. You should never read anyone's diary, male or female. It doesn't matter. Sister, uncle, cousin, it doesn't matter. Don't read it. Privacy is uh, important. And on that note, hey, guys, head on over to our social pages, Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Hey, if you guys have something uh, positive to say or maybe you got an improvement you'd like to see in our videos, go ahead and drop us a line on any of those uh, said places as well as NC+. We also have a website. You may have heard of it, happythumbsgaming.com. We have a uh, product and gaming reviews there as well as trophy achievement guide. So uh, we'd love to see you guys over there. And if you'd like to see more things or you have a request for a game or a product, let us know in the comments below and we'll do what we can. So as always, until next time. Wizardry. 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 So.